is invisible tension uh, behind cooperative skills in team sports. So, uh, as shown in this movie, we can see the collective behavior in many team sports, like soccer and basketball and so on. This collective behavior is generated by the excellent social interaction, especially cooperative skills among players. Although they don't connect physically, they can move like one organism as they, as they linked by invisible tension. So, <coughs> in a previous our study, we investigated the dynamics of cooperative skills using this three-on-one ball position task in soccer. In this task, three offensive players have to pass the ball to each other within limited square area with avoiding one offen uh, defensive player. <laughs> <laughs> We, we compared high, middle, and low skill levels. This movie is high skill level players. To clarify these cooperative skills, we analyzed three angles of triangle, which constructed by position of three offensive players. So, <laughs> this is a time series of angles. Both the frequency and amplitude are different among, among the skill levels. This high skill is very <coughs> yeah, low, low amplitude, uh, uh, high amplitude and uh, low, uh, low, uh, low amplitude and high freq frequency. For analyze the relation among these angles, we plotted these angles in three dimensions. As shown is this figure, the trajectory could be plotted on, on a two-dimensional phase plane. This is because that sum of three angles is constant. So uh, then we depicted the distribution of time frequency of all trajectories on the phase plane as a counterplot. The distribution of low skill level shows a triangle pattern and the high skill shows a circular pattern. This means that these patterns suggest these time series. So from the perspective of synchronization among oscillators, low skill is partial synchronization mm, mode, and high is rotational synchronization mode, including time delay, like this. So uh, this is simply simulation. You can see the difference of cooperative skills. So based on this previous study, the next question is what invisible tension among players determine this skill difference? So <coughs> in this study, we examine the invisible tension as a spring linkage. And we defined two spring patterns. One is separated spring. Uh, this, this is three different sp uh, springs connect between each two players. On the other hand, uh, uh, common spring pattern, this is one spring connect among three players. And then we assume that separated spring will behave as uh, low skill, co low cooperative skill with partial synchronization. And the common spring will behave as high cooperative skill with rotational synchronization. So in the aim of this study is demonstrate that invisible tension behind different cooperative skills can be explained by these different spring linkages. 
So the methods of this study are first, we simulate the behavior of players in three on board tasks using mathematical model. And then we compare the cooperative skills of different linkage patterns. For, for simulation, we define the roles of players. Three offensive players are called as mover and passer and receiver. Mover is moving freely and passer is passing the ball and receiver is receiving a ball from passer. And defensive player is called the defender for chas chasing a ball. So first we define the behavior of receiver and defender. Their behavior depends on only, more, uh, only ball movement. So ball movement is defined by the values of pass angle and interpass time interval. At the time, time of passing a ball from passer, receiver moves to outside area and catches the ball. So defender moves closer to a ball, to a ball on constant velocity during a pass. And then we define the behavior of mover and passer. Their behavior depends on some invisible tension, invisible forces. So <coughs> force acting on passer and mover is some of these force forces. One is attractive force to center of play area. And second is a repulsive force from defender. And the last one is a two types of spring force. One is separated spring type and another is common spring type. The change of position about these two players are cal calculated by the equation of motion. In next slides, we, we will explain the detail of these forces. First is attractive force. This force depends on the, the distance from center of play area. This force acts only when the position player is out of this circle. The, this <coughs> and it means that this, this force doesn't work when a player is within a circle. In outside circle, the larger the di distance increases, the longer the force becomes. Second is repulsive, repulsive force. This force depends on the distance from defender. Uh, this force acts only when the position of the player is within a circle. The origin of this circle is position of the defender. The, sh the shorter of distance from defender decreases, the larger force it becomes. And one of spring force is separated spring. This force depends on the distance between each two offensive players. As shown in uh, this figure, no forcing distance range is defined by threshold value. This comes from the idea that small force might not be act on players. In the out of no forcing range, when the distance is larger and shorter than natural spring range, the active and repulsive force is act, act respectively. Slope of this function is defined by the spring constant value. So <coughs> another spring force is common spring. This force depends on some of the three di distances. Compare with the separated spring, the di uh, this different point is that natural spring length is three times longer. So uh, finally, using these parameters, we simulate the behavior of players. So time step is 0 0.1 second, and player's mass is 50 kilogram, and maximum value of attractive and repulsive force is, is 100 newton, and the uh, Spring constant and that's uh, threshold uh, like this. 
So <coughs> in this slide, we compare the different linkage patterns using movie, which are no spring and uh, separated spring and common spring. Initial conditions are same, and uh, those details are like this. So let's start. At the beginning of the behavior, system of all, system of all patterns look stable. But after a short time, in no spring and separated spring, the shape, shape of triangle breaks out gradually, like this. And the defender goes out triangle, like this. On the other hand, common spring pattern keeps a triangle of little breaking out of a regular triangle. So uh, this is a time series of three angles during 100 seconds. We can realize clearly that no spring and separated spring patterns has large deviation of angle changes. On the other hand, common spring pattern change with small deviation around 60 degree, which is regular triangle. And uh, trajectory on phase plane are like this. <coughs> ah, this is time series, ah, like this. And no spring and trajectory shows large deviation, and separated spring shows a similar trajectory to low skill level of our previous study. And the common spring is similar to the pattern of high skill level. So this result means that separated spring linkage generate the low cooperative skill. On the other hand, common spring linkage generates the high cooperative skill. So inclusion. In this study, we demonstrate the, the in, in visual tension behind different cooperative skills can be described as different spring, spring linkage pattern. Separate spring linkage pattern generates the directory interaction between players. This interaction leads a partial synchronization which those players show. Common spring link, linkage pattern generates the indirectory in interaction among players, and it leads the rotational synchronization with time delay, which high skill players showed. And then, from these results, now we start to make two types of practical tools for acquiring the cooperative skill. These tools are made by elastic band, like this. <laughs> which connect among players. The project is collaborating with Mizuno Corporation. That's all. Thank you for attention.